Yeah, I know. This is awkward. Just bear with me. So a lot of you are wondering, why are you on Tiffany? <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know who Tiffany is, uh, Tiffany is my roommate, uh, Harley, um, 883 Iron. And the reason I'm on Tiffany is because right now, Tessa is uh, sitting in the house with a fucked up drain plug, an oil drain plug. Um, no, she's not dead, nothing's wrong. Like. Mechanically, uh, I just uh, I was in the middle of doing an oil change the other day, and had the filter piece fuck up, like like I told you guys on uh, Instagram and Facebook, um, and so I had to wait that for that to get in, and once it did, I did the full oil change and did everything, and uh, when I removed the drain plug, everything was fine. When I went to put it back in. I, you know, did, you because know, I've, I've worked on bikes before. Like, I've never had any issues working on bikes. I know that drain plugs and screws and stuff in the motor are uh, relatively easy to snap under uh, high torque. So I was babying it. Like, I knew what I was doing. And not, this, this isn't, you know, the typical, like, oh, der -der -der, crank, 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 snap. Um, so I... Uh, I had done the oil change, or I had, I had drained the oil completely. And I put the drain plug back in. And after, uh, you know, quite a few turns, because it was hard to get, it was hard to reach underneath the bike, it finally started to get tight. And uh, tightening it up, tightening it up, tightening it up. And I was like, all right, cool. It feels like it's set. I'll go with just a hair more and do like the normal like torque pressure check kind of thing. And as I did that, it was just enough, and then it went loose again. And I was like, that doesn't, no, that doesn't seem right. Oh, it's got a crush washer. Maybe the crush washer just wasn't like set right. So I tightened it up a little bit, you know, from where it went loose back to tight again. I think, okay, now it's set. And did the torque check again, and it spun again. And I was just like, oh my God, are you fucking shitting me? Tightened it up as much as I could without like, you know, like cross or anything into the hole or anything like that. Like just, just you know, spun the bolt until it was tight uh, or tight, tight as it, it would go. Um, and let it sit overnight just to see if there was, you know, I don't know, something. And I came out the next morning and she had been dripping oil all night to the point where there, in, in between the bricks and the mortar, there was like a channel of oil um, and I was not happy at all. So I had to order a, uh, a new drain plug. Um, and it should be here uh, Thursday, hopefully. Um, it was shipping from uh, Marietta, Georgia, so it shouldn't take very long. But, uh, so yeah, Tessa's just chilling at the house, um, waiting on a drain plug. But once that plug is put in, Everything will be good to go. I had one of the guys in the, the Georgia Supermotors group I was talking to a good friend of mine, and uh, he was like, bruh, you know, I can help you with any of your mechanical stuff, like with, like, you know, oil changes or, you know, you know spark plugs, da, da da And I was like, bruh, <laughs> I got this. I've done this before. Like, no problem. It wasn't like a rookie mistake. It was just, it, just like a freak thing. Um, so, needless to say, uh, that bolt's getting taken out as soon as possible. Uh, I got one of the uh, the rare earth magnet uh, bolts. The ones that are like actually like collect like metal deposits and stuff or whatever metal shavings, um, which is cool. And that's why I bought it because it's obviously going to help a little bit. But the part that like really kind of oh hey look at that that's kind of cool. The part that really kind of there serves me is the fact that that was made for a reason. <laughs> like, 
Why the why the motors shed metal? I don't want my motor to shed metal like actively because that sounds terrible. Oh, so yeah, you're just gonna go. Well, that's that makes sense. That's what's going on with Tesla right now, which kind of sucks. But at the same time, like whatever, you know, you can only do so much. Um, so I'm on Tiffany just for today. Um, I also want to talk to you guys about. Uh, what's been going on outside of the channel, but still like related to the channel, if that makes any sense. Um, so you guys know that I went to the uh, Virginia Beach trip with Downshift and Chase and uh, Heather, Heather DC. Um, that turned out to be a lot more than expected. Um, and to give you guys kind of like a small rundown of what's going on. I'm obviously not going to give you guys all the details because that would be um, counterintuitive to the plan. But um, I'll be working a lot more with Chase on Two Wheels um, as a group, as an entity, uh, instead of as sticker bombed. Um, I am not going anywhere. I am not getting rid of the channel. I'm not going to quit vlogging. All of that's going to like stay. Uh, but you guys are, will see me a lot more in uh, C2 Dub stuff. So, um, you know, like he's got the Twitch streams going on now. I'm uh, a part of at least once a week, if not both times. Uh, you guys will see me in the background chilling on the couch, uh, moderating the uh, the um, the uh, the chat. Um, I've been helping a lot with uh, getting some filming stuff set up, um, doing some research and uh, testing some new equipment. Um, the uh, if you guys follow Chase on Two Wheels uh, Instagram uh, C2 Dub Picks, uh, you guys are able to get a more in-depth look at the kind of behind-the-scenes stuff that we've got going on. Um, we've got a lot planned for you guys, uh, both as c Dub, Sticker Bombed, and as, like, together. Um, the project that we're working on is going to be pretty in-depth, and it's going to take up uh, a, a, a decent bit of time. Um, but uh, for right now, we're just uh, we're getting everything set up for it and trying to figure out, like, what's the best way to approach everything. So um, that's why you guys have seen me a lot with uh, c 2 Dub. Uh, in the background, kind of behind the, behind the scenes stuff. Um, I will let you know for sure. Uh, not really like details of everything, but uh, like you know, kind of updates and stuff of what we got going on. Um, like I said, if you guys follow Chase on Two Wheels, uh, CC Dub Picks Instagram. The uh, the fuck is this shit? Um, okay, so we're gonna go this way. Um. You guys, uh, today is uh, Tuesday. We filmed a little bit Monday, uh, and you guys on Instagram got to see a little bit of behind-the-scenes stuff of what we got going on. You guys will see a lot of new, interesting things that are outside of what we normally do uh, pretty soon. But uh, yesterday we spent a good deal uh, doing slider research. <laughs> Hashtag slider research do. Um, and, uh, we got a lot of, uh, kind of test, test footage of Holly, um, just, uh, just trying to figure out some of the new equipment and get used to what we've, uh, what we've recently got. So definitely keep your eyes, uh, glued to Chase's channel, Chase on Two Wheels, because, <laughs> uh, we're about, we're, uh, Let's see here. That's the best. I'm trying to think of the best way to put this. Um, <laughs> shit's about to get real nice. 